sentence did American Girl make for Kit Kit Ridge? Let's talk about it on a Focus on the Cute! We have heard that one of American Girl's historical characters, Kit Kit Ridge, is making a comeback. So we decided to take a look back at all of Kit's outfits from the past, from 2000 to 2019. And all these, and most of these images came from the American Girl wiki, as well as some eBay photos. So let's dive right in. So grab a cup of tea, your favorite beverage, and sit down and join us because this is going to be a little bit lengthy. So first, of course, we've got Kit's meat outfit, her iconic meat outfit. As soon as you see this, you're like, oh, that's Kit's meat outfit. And I think she's adorable. I love this outfit. I love how many pieces it came with. Mm, it's cute. I love the sweater set. I know. It's adorable how they both match. And I love that skirt. Her accessories are adorable as well. That's back when they used to do metal jewelry for American Girl meat accessories. Ahem. We missed that. <laughs> and as well as she had a clutch, a handkerchief, a little coin, and of her hat, which is adorable. I think this is a really cute accessory set. I liked the fact that they did have a doll necklace because I think that doll jewelry, jewelry is very important. It's cute. Yeah, it's just a nice small little detail. First up, we have her beach pajamas and slippers. They are also known as just kids' pajamas. It was released in 2000, retired 2011. The retail cost was $20 and then later increased to $24. Now, what's interesting about these pajamas is, yes, this style was popular in the 1930s, but she was not a boater or <laughs> lived by a beach, but I guess it was just the style that it they was were trying fashion. to replicate. It was high fashion. Yeah. And basically, I did not know this, but I looked this up. The little flags on her chest resembled little signal flags for boats. They would use that to communicate with each other, and apparently they mark, American Girl marketed it as translating into I love you. Which is real cute. That's adorable. I just am not a huge fan of these. I mean, if you are, it's totally fine. I just, I, I don't know. I don't like the... They, they do look very sailor-like, but mm -hmm. I'm just not into it, personally. And then it comes with very interesting red shoes. There goes the pom-pom shoes, too. Next up is Kit's school outfit. It came out in the year 2000 and retired in 2015. It was associated with Kit Learns a Lesson. The retail price was $22. It later raised to $32. Oh, the good old days when they were $32. Anyways, <laughs> this is, this little jumper comes with a separate shirt with a collar. I think this is adorable. It also came with a tiny clip, and it comes with knee-high socks and shoes that have laces. I think this outfit is absolutely adorable. I love the fact that Kit's collection has a lot of flowers in it. Yeah, and I think it's she has clothes that could be work for spring, summer, and fall because there's just so many beautiful flower prints, and I love her collection. I think one, of, it's one of our favorite collections. Mm -hmm. We have too many collections though that we love. So, <laughs> next up we have Kit's Christmas outfit, and it was released in 2000, retired 2017. It was the retail cost of $22, then it increased twice. It was $28, and then $32. And I think this is adorable. It's not part of the original six historical Christmas outfits, but it's just so cute and I think it's a classic historical Christmas outfit and as well as the Scotty dog pin did change it did change from the magnet that you could detach from the dress to a permanent pin where you could not take it off the dress I thought that was one of the best parts about it I do love the fact that this dress came with tights and also patent leather shoes I think and a little bow I think those little details really make a difference next up is the overalls outfit or as collectors like to call it the hobo outfit it came out in 2001 and retired in 2011 this book was associated with kids saves the day it was 22 dollars, and then it got raised to 28 this little outfit is made out of real jeans material has a little hardware on the top to hold the overalls in place it has a little working shirt that's buttoned down. You know, that shirt would be perfect for the boys. And then also a little cap. I really think this is a cute outfit. It really goes for a lot on eBay, like about $100. Which is amazing because it's just a shirt and then the overalls and that little hat. But it's adorable and it just reminds me, I don't know why, it reminds me of Farmer Boy, like Laura Ingalls type mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. And I think it's so cute. I did love this story because she gave uh, food to the people who were poorer than she was. 
Next up, we got Kit's Winter Coat, and it was released in 2001, retired in 2013. It was $20 and then increased to $24. This is a really nice coat. I am so sad I did not get this. This is great also for your modern dolls because it's a coat, you know? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have anything special about it, and I think it looks so cute. It did not come with the hat and mittens or the boots, but it's still adorable. I think it's adorable as well. I mean, you could even use the mittens for any of your dolls. And this is also her it just it's so cute because it has something to do with changes for kit it's on the cover of the book i love the outfits when they're on covers of the book and mm -hmm. it's so cute i wish they would do that again yeah now they only do it for the meat outfits which is so sad but what are you gonna do next up is kit's birthday dress and headband this came out in 2001 and it retired in 2015 it was associated with the book happy birthday kit the retail cost was 20 dollars, and it went up to 24 now i love this dress and i love the story behind this dress that's one of the reasons i love this dress it was her aunt made this dress out of a chicken feed sack and that was popular back in the day because people didn't have a lot of money and i think this is such a cute dress that she made and also those are her original shoes that came with the doll and the headband i think she looks so cute i love this dress yeah i think today we would kind of freak if it was just a dress and a headband but i think for that <laughs> price back then it was pretty good and i think it's such a lovely dress next we got kit's treehouse outfit this was released in 2003 retired in 2007 the retail cost was 24 dollars. now this one this outfit kind of went with the short story kit's treehouse and i think this outfit is adorable it is kind of hard to find oh yeah definitely but i think it's adorable and it's not really a lot i don't really see a lot of collectors owning this one i feel like this one was kind of forgotten and then it's just just expensive on ebay yeah on ebay it's about 70 dollars and I think the colors are so cute for this little sweater. And she's even got a little hat. And I love those socks. <laughs> and I think the little short stories were adorable back then. I think that's another thing that was so cute that they did. Yeah, I wish they would the re-release those. I know. I think those books are great. Next up is Kit's Red Fan Outfit. This came out in 2004. Retired in 2007. The retail cost was $26. And good luck trying to find it now. <laughs> um, the and AK, being $26, it came with a lot of stuff. Oh, definitely. It came with a little cap, a little shirt, and also Bermuda shorts, a baseball, a mitt, some knee-high socks. They would give away this little Cincinnati Reds t-shirts at American Girl stores. That's what I've heard. I did some research. Mm -hmm. Some people said you could also buy some of their outfits they made several cincinnati red pieces mm -hmm. and you could get them also for free they would just give them away to a certain amount of people and i don't know uh if anyone of you know about this let us know in the comments also ebay will not give these away for free because this from what we did in our research it was approximately about a hundred dollars to get the set I know, which is amazingly expensive. Mm -hmm. Next, we got another hard to find outfit. This is Kit's 1934 swimsuit. It was released in 2005, retired in 2007. The retail cost was $24. It was also complimented by Kit's beach chair. Can you believe this outfit was $24? For all this stuff now, it'd be like probably 50 something. It came with a little umbrella, a little swimming cap, sunglasses, of course, the bathing suit, and red sandals that kind of look like her meat shoes, but they look like they're dyed <laughs> red, which is so cute and inventive. Hey, FYI, this is the most expensive out of all the 27 outfits on eBay. It's like $225 or something crazy like that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And I just think it's so brightly colored. I would love to see, just to even look at it on a kid doll. I'd love to, I've never <laughs> seen it in person before. It's adorable. And I love that little umbrella, and I love the print on that. It's so cute. And I love those little cards that you got also with oh, those outfits. They did, special, they did special cards for a special outfit. It's so it was cute. A, it was so cute. Next up is Kit's scooter outfit. It came out in 2006 and retired in 2008. The retail cost was $26. It came out with, I love outfits that do come out with the hat. This cute little hat, her dress, knee-high socks, and little shoes there. I think this is an adorable outfit. I love the collar. Collar in the 1930s were huge. <laughs> and I think this is a very cute outfit. And I just love how, again, this could be used for 
fall, summer, spring. I mean, you could use it for any of those seasons. It's just beautiful. I love that it's orange and I love all the flowers. It's so cute. And I think this is one of those outfits that a lot of people try to find. Sometimes mm -hmm. it can be a little well, expensive on eBay, but not too bad. About $56. Yeah, looked. not as bad as a swimsuit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I just love that also she got a different version of shoes. Next, we got Kids Stripe 90, and this was introduced in 2008 and retired in 2015. It was associated with the movie Kid Kit Ridge and American Girl. Retail cost was $24. Now, I thought this one was way cuter than the beach pajamas. I am sorry. Definitely. I think this is so cute. I kind of regret not getting this. I did see it for a while, and I thought, for whatever reason, I don't know why, I always, like, oh, I'll get the accessories or the pajamas later, and then they just disappear randomly. And I'm like, why? They're already gone. And I think this is so adorable. And also, it was kind of cool that it was in the American Girl kit movie. I thought that was so cool. That was cute. And it looks like candy stripes. It looks like peppermint. I know. And the shoes are so cute mm -hmm. with little bows on them. Oh, so, so cute. A perfect Christmas pajamas, too, I think. Next up is Kit School Skirt Set. It came out in 2008. It retired in 2017. The cost was $32. It increased to $36. I think this is a beautiful outfit. I always love this outfit. This is one of my favorites. I love the little ruffled shirt that she had and the pink skirt, her little jacket. She looks so professional, ready to be a little reporter. I know. <laughs> even, it looks even more professional than her actual reporter outfit. Mm -hmm. It is such a cute outfit. And, and all the separate pieces? Oh, yeah. And the hat, the shoes, the knee-high socks. I think this is an adorable outfit. For $32, it was a good deal. It was kind of interesting also that they called it her school skirt, and she already had a school outfit. I'm not sure why they did that, but I think this is such an adorable outfit. Next up, we got Kit's floral print dress, and this was released in 2008, retired in 2017. Retail cost was $28, and this was also associated with the movie Kit Kit Ridge and American Girl. I think this dress is another adorable dress. I th love the vibrant yellow it is, and then all the flowers, and the collar even has some little embroidery and a bow. It's just beautiful. I love the hair clip and the shoes. This is definitely a cute dress. And I just love how they also gave her different they started giving her different hair accessories th throughout her office they kind of started giving her like little barrettes and then they gave her sometimes bows or hats and i thought that was really cool next up is kit's play suit it came out in 2009 and retired in 2011. the retail price was 28 dollars. i think this was an adorable little suit it had bunnies and parachutes and planes which i thought I'm so a, adorable I, I just love bunnies so and then also a blue ribbon for her hair knee high socks and shoes with laces i think this is a cute outfit because you could take those shoes and use them for whatever i would love to see this in person or own this one day it's so cute uh, on ebay it's about sixty dollars yeah, some of these outfits have gone up double or triple, depending on which one it is. And I think this one is so cute, and I love the little white bunnies. It kind of reminds me of Peter Rabbit for some reason. Yeah, it is cute. Next, we got Kit's reporter dress, and this was released in 2009 and returned in 2015. Retail cost was $28. Now, this was a cute reporter outfit. I just think that the school skirt seemed a bit more reporter-like, but this one is still adorable. This is more kid-like, though. Yeah, that's true. You know. I think this is so cute. I love the bright print of the floral. And I love how all the little details, like the extra trim, the little belt buckle, the little buttons, the collar. She had a little headband and socks and shoes. Her shoes are so cute. I love the little de decorative threading on there. I on know, the and I think this outfit came out so cute. And I think it's very summer or spring. And it's so adorable. I love the little ribbons hanging down on the, the sleeves. It's so the cute. The cuffs. Next up is Kit Summer Dress. It came out in 2011. It retired in 2016. It was $28 and then it increased to $32. I love this dress. I think this is a beautiful dress. I love all the florals. I love the fact that it has two tiers on it. It has lace. It has ruffles. I mean, I think this is a beautiful dress. Also, the bow. I like how they incorporated bows in all of uh, uh, most of Kit's outfits, and also her shoes there. I think this is a beautiful outfit for Kit. 
And I just love how it almost looks like an Easter dress, and it mm-hmm. would look perfect for Easter. And I think that is just adorable. Also, she has too many cute outfits. I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have a kid's candy making set, and this was a limited edition item. It was released in 2014, retired 2015. The retail cost was $64. For everything that you see, and also if you weren't aware, later on they released the outfit by itself without the little accessories, Mm -hmm. which I thought was interesting that they did that. This outfit is really cute. I love the like sheer material that they use. They did a little pink satin bow around the waist, and then it almost looks like her meat shoes, but in pink, but they're different. And and then you have little bunny making kit, which was so adorable. (laughs) I wish I had gotten the accessories also, but I only bought the outfit, and I'm glad I own the outfit though. I think this is really an adorable set. I liked how they came. It came with a basket also. I, I thought it was a little bit too much though at yeah, the time. It, yeah, so at the time. I believe later on they had sold the accessory set separately. Yeah, that was a really huge set. Next we got Kids Be Forever Meat Outfit. This is when they relaunched the historical line and Ooh. they all got new meat outfits and this came out in 2014. There was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of opinions about this, so I'm not going to get into all that. This was their accessories for the Beef Ever launch. I think that these, both of the accessories and the meat outfit were cute, but I just prefer her classic meat outfit. Mm -hmm. And also I think that they were trying to... I don't know. I don't know what they were trying to do. I think American Girl was just like, bright colors! Like, they were just trying to really do Be Forever as bright and colorful. And it just it's interesting because they dropped the Be Forever from historicals, like, silently. Like, it was quiet. I don't know what happened with Be Forever. <laughs> and it, it was a cute outfit, but it wasn't as good as a classic. Next up is Kit's reporter dress. This is the Be Forever style. It came out in 2014 and retired in 2017. The retail cost was $28. Now, this was a cute set. True. I mean, I, I did like it was a little vest and the skirt and a pair of shoes. It was a, it was cute, and it did come with a clip. So it was cute. I, I, and you could even use it for, you know, you know, if you wanted to have your doll go uh, Mickey Mouse bounding, too. Yeah, it looks very, like, Minnie Mm Mouse-like. And I think that also they tried to stick to kid style because they had the big collar, and the collar actually had some Mm -hmm. really nice embroidery and a big bow. Here is the older reported dress on the left and the Be Forever version on the right. We just wanted to kind of quickly show you to see, like, maybe you forgot or, you know, just seeing them close together, you can make up your mind which one's your favorite. Let us know which one is your favorite in the comments. Mm Mm-hmm. But they both are adorable. And it's interesting, they also went with the red theme for both. Yeah, different color shoes on both, though. Next, we have Kids Photographer Outfit. This was released in 2014 and retired in 2018. Retail cost was $34. Now, this outfit is actually surprisingly good for the Be Forever lineup, li- outfit lineup. And I think this one was actually liked by a lot of different people. Because Kit actually wore a lot of sweaters in her books, but she never got any sweaters this was actually the first time they did it for be forever and this is just so cute i love actually how brightly colored it is i think Mm -hmm. it's one of the best from the be forever relaunch not the best but one of the best i love her shoes and the shirt a nice she did have yellow outfits in her book yeah so i think it was interesting again that this was kind of they only did two yellow outfits in her entire collection Mm -hmm. i believe or three i'm not sure if that's correct but i think this one was cute next up is kit's chicken keeping set it was a limited edition outfit it came with a chicken it came out in 2015 and later retired the retail cost was 48 dollars. it was a little bit more than a lot of our other stuff yeah i remember holding off on this for a while (laughs) but i'm glad we have it because it is so expensive now oh my gosh on ebay this is a hundred dollars so it doubled in price and she it comes with the chicken her overalls a cute collared shirt and a little hair accessories and a pair of shoes. I think this is an adorable outfit. I actually like this better than the hobo outfit. But then, of so course, cute. you wouldn't go to a hobo camp in this. So That's true. I think it's beautiful. I just love how brightly colored it is. Excuse me. 
Kit's One Piece Pajamas. This was released in 2015 and returned in 2019. Retail cost was $24. Now this one was interesting to a lot of different people. So a lot, some people liked it and then some people were like, eh, not so much. To me, no offense, I don't, I didn't like the little opening on the back. I just thought it made Kit look like a giant baby doll, which is, there's nothing wrong with baby dolls. That it just, I just didn't, it was not my favorite. But I do like the print. It was like little Scotty dogs. And I think that the colors are really nice together. That like mint color with the orange. And then I love those That's slippers. Mm -hmm. I do like the colors. It's cute. <laughs> and it was just kind of funny to see the back opens. And I was like, why did they do that? But, you know, that probably <laughs> was the style of the, you know, of so those pajamas. So you wanted pajamas. to take your onesie off. And this is, this is all of Kid's pajamas from her first release to her last most recent release. And I'm just very interested to see if they will bring back, which pajama they will bring back for Kid's re-release. I hope they do bring back the second one because I think it was really adorable. Next up is Kit's Play Dress. It came out in 2017. It retired in 2019. The retail cost was $28. Here we go with a hat, which is so adorbs. I love her little shoes, her knee high socks, and her dress is just so cute. I think blue is a, a cute color too for Kit. Definitely brings out her eyes, and I just love this dress she just looks like a little baby doll she's so cute <laughs> and i think that the the little extra ruffles on top are so nice mm -hmm. and i think that's so cute yeah i think i need i think this dress has tripled in price if you look at it on ebay it's crazy i know this was from the b forever they had mm -hmm. some really actually pretty decent outfits for b forever yeah Next, we got Kit's mini golf outfit, and it was introduced in 2017 and retired in 2019. Retail cost was $34. Now, this was one of those outfits that from Be Forever that people were like, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people questioned, would Kit's family have money to go mini golfing? Also, yeah, another no. thing is, on the you can see on the front of the outfit, she had her initials kind of like embroidered on there. That was something rich folk did. Yeah, so I don't think that Kit's family could afford this this uh, golfing experience or that type of embroidery on the outfit. But the outfit is kind of cute. It's not my favorite personally. I like the orange color. I'm just not a huge fan of the way it looks. And those socks are crazy, but probably they, they look like golfing socks. <laughs> it's not a bad Kit outfit. It's just not our favorite. Nope. Next up is Kit's Christmas outfit. This was also Be Forever. It came out in 2017. It returned 2018. The retail cost was $36. It did come with tights, patent leather shoes, and a red bow. Now, as far as the dress itself, I did not care for it. Again, not one of our favorites. <laughs> not really. I mean, it was plaid, but I just I didn't like it, uh, which was surprising that on ebay it goes for 77 dollars i'm like okay why i know i'm pretty shocked that i'd be forever off it would go for that much yeah i just so it's very hard, hard to get it second hand on the second hand market here it is versus kids classic christmas dress and i just love her first christmas dress better i mm -hmm. think it's a little bit more simple and it could even work for the modern dolls if you really wanted it to definitely i like that they incorporated the little scotty dog on the the pin that her mother gave her, which was another cute story. I know, it's adorable how I incorporated with the story. Here is Kit's last outfit that American Girl made. It was Kit's gardening outfit. It was released in 2018 and retired in 2019. Retail cost was $34. And it's fitting that this is her last outfit because this outfit was so adorable. It is just the cutest. It's a pair of overalls that kind of remind me of a train conductor. You also have a little flower shirt, little flower headband, and brown boots. I think this is an adorable outfit. I really like it a lot. I love the shirt and the head wrap there and you can do a lot with the different pieces yeah and it's great that they also separated the shirt from the overalls just like they did for her other overall outfits here we have all of the overall outfits that were in kit's collection i really wonder if they're going to have another pair of overalls with this relaunch of kit yeah very excited to see what kit items get released and also we hope to check that out for you guys Thank you so much for those of you that stayed until the end of this video. And we are answering the question, how many outfits does Kit have? She has 
27 outfits. We did a little photo oh. edit of all of her outfits from her release to 2019 for her very last outfit. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below. We'd love to start a conversation with you. Let us know which kit outfit is your favorite. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your dolly friends. And if you're a stranger, don't be. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you on Focus on the Cute. Thank you everybody for watching. And don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus on the cute. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody.